My name is Matt Mitchell. I am associated with Northside Pharmacies, located in Zanesville, Ohio. My decision to enroll in the NCPA Innovation Center, CPESN Community Pharmacy Fellowship, was pretty much encouraged by senior leadership here in my organization um, and my boss. And they kind of understood the changing landscape of community pharmacy and how new reimbursable, reimbursable clinical services were going to be you know, a requirement for keeping community pharmacy sustainable. So we felt this program would give us the skills needed to implement new clinical services in a much faster manner than what we could do on our own. And uh, not only that, but to assure that those services would be successful. Because we're learning from individuals and pharmacies that have uh, that are already highly um, performing those services within their own pharmacies. What makes this different from other training programs is the unique collaboration with the other fellows and faculty in the program. We have small monthly discussion groups almost every month. Um, and oftentimes the fellows are experiencing or already have experienced the same challenges and limitations that you as the fellow are experiencing. Um, so we can kind of share, you know, how each other when they encountered a problem, how they dealt with it, what worked, what different, what didn't work. So we're not just receiving that sort of textbook information and didactic portion that gives you instructions on how to generate a new service. We're learning from each other's challenges and successes um, to kind of fast track the growth of our clinical service. Um, the other difference is accountability. Other training programs give you the knowledge and then it's up to the, the participants to apply that knowledge in their practice. Um, with this program, we get frequent follow-up sessions with faculty, um, self-evaluation throughout the program and continual resources as we advance through the program to make sure um, our clinical service is successful as we develop it. It has made an impact in my pharmacy. I, I know for myself, given me the skills needed to better manage my team. Um, some of the very first educations within the fellowship program was geared towards maximizing, um, kind of taking a step back, looking at ways to maximize the resources you already have within your pharmacy practice. Um, so one of the things we're trying to do with our, our staff members now is to improve care planning processes. So we took a step back and said, what can we do to essentially make this more seamless within our workflow? Um, so one of the recommendations that actually came from this fellowship program was to install dual monitors within our pharmacies. So we did that. It was just relatively low cost option um, to, to make it less cumbersome to flip screens and kind of remind our staff to, to do care, care planning. So we have seen those numbers increase with our D care plans. Um, and like I said, just kind of a relatively low cost option, really didn't need to invest in, in very much um, other resources to make it happen. Um, another sort of foundational concept that came from the program was improving staff engagement. Um, so senior leadership has a vision. I have a vision of what we want our, our pharmacies to do and what clinical services to offer. Not every pharmacy staff member is going to be on the same page as you. Um, so uh, before we started anything, we made sure all of our staff was on the same page. We have the pharmacist meetings just to kind of communicate what our vision of, of pharmacy is and uh, explain to our staff the why behind it before we started any of the services. So um, I think that helps to kind of get all of our staff on the same page and, and understand why we're trying to give the pharmacists more time um, to, to speak to patients to improve patient care. NCPA Innovation Center, CPSN Community Pharmacy Fellowship Program does a great job of encouraging the fellows to advance their pharmacy practices while also meeting the fellows where they are. Um, and what I mean by that is you're going to get resources and networking opportunities to, to make your your chosen clinical service that you want to implement successful. Uh, however, the faculty understands that these changes don't happen overnight. Um, so that's 
just reassuring to me every time they say, okay, you know, you're gonna have challenges with this. They're, they're very encouraging. Um, they kind of allow the fellows to assess their own pharmacy, uh, what their, their staffing needs are, what resources they have, what capabilities they have. Um, but like I said, they just do a great job of kind of putting it in the fellows' hands to, to see what services their own pharmacies need at the time and what's doable for each fellow. That would have been something that uh, I believe they do a great job with. My favorite part of the fellowship program is, as I mentioned before, connecting with the other fellows in the program and also faculty. So these are pharmacists who are excelling with providing clinical services and they're willing to step out of their busy schedules to impart their knowledge onto the fellows so we can be successful. Um, so aside from getting tips and best practices from them, um, I'm always kind of motivated after meeting with them to, um, you know, I see that they're providing these services in their own communities, their own pharmacies, and making an impact on their patients. Always kind of a, a, a driving factor for me because I, I see that they have that for their patients and um, just makes me want to improve my processes within my pharmacies and kind of have the same impact on, on my patients and my community. The success we've had um, so far with the program would have to be our medication synchronization program specifically. Um, with instruction from the program, we've been able to set more targeted goals, we set monthly SMART goals for our staff, uh, for improving medication synchronization enrollment. And, um, not only that, not only just beefing up our missing numbers, we are monitoring the program and evaluating it differently. Um, so not, like I said, not just adding more people to medicine, but making sure that the program is um, being done in a consistent manner and patients that are enrolled in the program are truly getting a synced product um, because you know, it's very complex and patients um, can get out of sync rather quickly. So we still have a, a lot of work to do. We're still improving our processes now, but. One thing that was pretty apparent last year, our DIR fees decreased pretty significantly. And I think the improvements we made to our SYNC program had a lot to do with that. Um, ensuring patients are getting their chronic needed medications on time and it's kind of spilled over um, into the financial benefit. Uh, if you are a pharmacist considering the fellowship, I would say this program is a must if you're a pharmacist looking to instill new clinical services. Uh, within your pharmacy, but aren't quite sure uh, where to start. Each fellow chooses a, a clinical service to implement or to revamp within a 12 month period. Um, what I appreciate is the faculty understands no matter what clinical service you chose, um, the program won't be successful unless you adapt your current workflow to give you and your staff the capacity to do that. Um, so not, not only do you as a fellow receive the support to facilitate your chosen clinical program, but at a more foundational level, you're receiving best practices and tools to maximize the rules of your pharmacy staff and to improve your workflow. Um, so they're really setting the stage to make sure your clinical service is on good footing as you move forward and that it, it can continue to be offered to your patients and be sustainable 